Are you having trouble getting your EOF files into a format that you can use on your machine? If you are, then watch this video and I'll show you how it's done. But first, my intro. All right, so I am working in Embered Studio, and Embered Studio is what you need to do any digitizing. It seems people are having trouble uh, getting the designs to their machines. So I'm going to show you guys the quick and easy way to do it. Once you have created your design, and uh, again, this is Embered Studio, you can't do it anywhere else, you need to save your file. Now, EOF is a working file. So what that means is you can go back in and you can do editing, you can change it, and it'll keep all of the underlay and stitch settings that you have. You can't do this with a stitch file because it's not that editable. So the first thing you need to do is go up here to d design and you can do control S or you can do save as and you can name it and uh, keep it where you want. So once you do that and make sure you always save your working file, you never know if you're gonna go back into it. Now you want to save it in a format that your machine could read because it will not read an EOF file just like any other so embroidery software you have to have a stitch file so stitch files are made for stitching working files are made for editing so how do you do this this is the button that you want compile and put into embered editor if this is grayed out and you can't find it, it's always there top left. That would mean that you're using the demo version. And in the demo version, you can't save anything. So that that's the answer to that. People have a hard time. If you don't see it, you're in the demo version and you can't stay save. You can play around in the software, but you can't save it. So let's compile and bring it into editor. Now we, and you can see right here, these are all your choices that you have of saving into a stitch file. Now there's quite a few. What I really like is that it shows bold. So it's easy for you to see what's there. It's also listed right here. Now, before you save it, there are a few things you can do. I'm going to check off center and hoop. You can remove the trimming codes. You can insert trimming codes. You can shrink to fit, fit the hoop and you can select only one format. So the one format I'm doing is PES, so that's fine. And you know what, there we go. Now we're gonna save it into, how about the desktop right there? And I'm gonna call it uh, Skull. And you can see right here, it's PES. So then it says, uh, it tells you the hoop size, and this is a little warning thing. Um, it is possible to save the file with a different hoop size using an older format. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but it'll be more compatible to older embroidery machines. So if you are selling your designs, that is probably a good option. So I'm going to say no because I'm okay. Version dependent on hoop size, that's fine. Uh, I like this. I'm going to put it on 10 always show the screen when saving PES designs. I would leave that. And there we go. And all of our thread information, I'm just gonna hit okay. This is awesome. And you can see up here, it says skull.pes. So you can send this embroidery design to your machine. And that's how you do it. That's how you convert an EOF file here inside Embered Studio into a stitch file so you can get stitching. So thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, remember to click on like. If you're new to the channel, keep learning about embroidery digitizing by hitting the subscribe button and uh, there'll be lots more Embered videos. So thanks everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!